How's it going everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to PS4 Project. In previous videos you've seen me build this base right here and the base over there in the back but in this video I'll be making my dream bass guitar from ever since I started playing. This is a copy of an ESB LTD B1005 multi-skill bass um, but I've modified it to have a few more of the features that I really like such as a laminated neck, nice dark stained swamp ash, Zeracote top, which the original also had, and then it also has some beautiful, I don't know if it shows up, but some beautiful copper uh, inlays, such as a P for my name, um, and also an anvil, which I used to use as a logo. I really hope that you guys will enjoy uh, watching me build this because it's been an absolute pleasure working through this project and I'm super proud of the result. So let's get this build started. Me and my best friend drove to the largest luthier wood supply store in the Netherlands to pick up these beautiful pieces of Black Limba, Purple Heart, Zeracote, Zebra Wood and American Swamp Ash. The neck will be a 9 piece laminate with the main wood being the Limba. The Purple Heart will form two stripes running along the entire length of the neck and in between each layer there will be a black stained birch veneer for contrast. You can see that I am using a planer slash jointer, a router, chisels and a hand plane to prepare the stock material. Because the neck of this bass guitar is of the through neck variety, I can prepare the body of the guitar as two wings that will connect to the side of the neck blank. To prevent the layers of the neck from slipping during the gluing process, I use sea salt. The large grains provide grip to counteract the wet glue's lubricity. The salt also dissolves in the glue, leaving the bond strength unaffected. Here's a little sneak peek at the layers of the neck. 
Now the neck blank is completed, you can use the straight edge on the side to hollow out a channel for the truss rod. My best friend helped out tremendously during this project. For one, he let me borrow his tools, such as his bandsaw and his oscillating sender. He's also a great builder himself. He knows loads of helpful tips and tricks that I use during this build, and we work together on a lot of projects. We're even planning to start selling guitars we made or do commission work like build custom guitars together. At this point, the truss rod can be installed. A strip of masking tape was used to prevent any glue from getting on the truss rod, as this could prevent the truss rod from turning after the fretboard's been installed. My 3D printer came in handy to make a neck profiling jig to get the neck dimensions perfect. The sides of the fretboard are carved out to give it a copper inlay all along both sides. The inlay dots that I used are a Zeracote that I had left over from the body. As this is a multi-skill base, the lowest string has a longer skill length than the highest string. To acquire this, I calculated fret positions for a 37 inch and a 34 inch skill length, and I spaced them out and aligned the 12th fret. I then connected these fret positions to find the angle of each single fret, and then I finally cut the slots and installed all of the frets. I decided on giving the headstock a copper anvil inlay to make it stand out more. Thank you. 
a lot of time went into leveling and crowning the frets. These are the details that you will really feel while playing, so I needed to get this perfect. Now the entire body can be glued using the salt trick again, and then I leveled it using a sanding beam. The pickups for this base are Fishman Fluent Soap Bars and I went with all black Goto hardware. For this base I want some really strong chamfered edges, so I drew out the contours and used a Shinto saw rasp to remove all of the material. After sanding, it's really coming together. Now for the back, I used a wire brush to bring out the texture of the grain, and then some dark grey stain to get the look I'm going for. For the finish of this, I made my own wipe on poly coat. To use this, I used full strength polyurethane varnish and I mixed it with mineral spirits. I used a ratio of 50 50 because it was easy to remember. First, I applied boiled linseed oil to bring out the depth in the grain of the wood. I then applied 10 to 12 thin coats of the wipe on poly, which I sanded and buffed to my preferred level of shine. With the electronics soldered, they can be installed, as well as the hardware, and after a few hours of setup and action adjustments, this base is completely finished. Please let me know in the comments if you prefer a super cut, really fast video like this, where I put as much information as possible in as little time as possible, or if you would prefer me to do select videos on, for example, the neck, the body, and make some sort of series out of future builds. Hey, congratulations for making it to the end of this build video. The build is completely finished and now all there is for me left to show you uh, is just some footage of this base being showcased in, in good sunlight and everything. And also of course a little sound demo, but don't expect much of me because I'm really not that great at it. Also I want to thank all of you for the incredible support on my previous two build uh, videos and on the rest of my channel and just want to thank you. and tell you that if you like this kind of content, please stick around because there's a lot of projects that I'm uh, currently working on and that will probably be coming out in the near future. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.